Hello! Welcome back to another video. I am not alone anymore. I have my good friend behind the camera and he's helping me shoot a very important video. But let's take a seat so I can explain. Well, not that kind of seat. If you have a chair, get rid of it right now, okay? We want to sit like this today and I'm going to explain why and why it's also destroying your life when you are not doing it. When you not, not use something in your body, you lose it. You have probably heard that term before. When you sit too much, like in today's generation, your ankles get tight, your hip flexors get tight, you lose mobility, and not to mention the upper body that gets the rounded shoulders, the depressive body language, okay? So not only are you feeling shit inside your body, you cannot perform as an athlete good and just your whole quality of life actually lowers, okay? It sounds dramatic, but it is kind of true actually. Not in all cases, but you get what I'm trying to say. So in this position, I hope you already are sitting in this right now. If you're not, please get rid of the chair or get down on the floor with me. And if you experience that, hey, I can't get down, that's actually a problem because as a human, you are designed to be able to sit down here. This is the most natural resting position. Asian cultures use this while they eat, while they wait for the bus. And so many things are happening right now inside my body. So, if this is a problem, it's okay. Everything can be fixed. That's the good thing. So, what do you wanna do if you can't get into this position is that you want to elevate your heels because the most common problem is that the ankles are super stiff. You can't get the knees outside of, outside of your toes. So you can take anything, books, shoes, a towel, whatever you need to be able to sit in, in a position and feel comfortable, okay? It might be stretchy, but it might also feel pretty good if you haven't done this in a long, long time. But the end position you wanna strive for is to be able to sit down here. So if you start putting this into your daily life, Binge watch Netflix while you sit on the floor. Check Instagram while you sit here. When you're waiting for the bus, just squeeze in these small mom moments uh, into your daily life. But today we're gonna do something a bit fancier that we're gonna do together. So get down on the floor and let's do this together. Okay guys, because I enjoy nature so much, we're gonna do this in nature. Uh, I also love being barefoot for many reasons. Hey, cameraman, follow me. <laughs> um, <clears throat> you have the time to get rid of the chair so we can do this together, okay? So focus. Great. Is this good? Yeah. You approve? Great. Okay, so we get into the deep squat here. Like I said, the most important thing is not what we are gonna do now. The most important thing is that you start spending time in this position. And if you need, you can elevate the heels to get into the right position. Okay, you should be able to actually have a proud chest opened, not cramped like this, okay? So you want to be like this. And with elevated heels, that will help. So, let's just get into this routine together and I hope you feel amazing. So, we put one, angle, one um, elbow on the inside of the knee and I shoot the other elbow towards the sky. And if I can, I also straighten it. I breathe deeply and frequently and I try to keep it that way. You should probably be feeling something here on the side of the obliques opening up, you can hold this for 10-15 seconds and then we sh switch sides. So again, I push with the elbow inside my knee, opening up the hips at the same time while I get a twist oh, on my torso, okay. I breathe, the sun just came and hit my face, life is amazing. <laughs> We keep it for 10-15 seconds and get down. Great. <clears throat> Next, we're gonna get into a prey position by putting my elbows on the inside of my knees again. 
connecting here and praying for the gods of mobility and stretch to give me my freedom back in my body here, okay? And I can actually go in and out of this and either count it as reps or just have a timer or just enjoy and go for what your body tells you, okay? Let's not spend too much thinking about this but more about doing. We can open it up even more by going into fists, even more with, I don't know, doing something with your hands. As you can see, I have some pretty open hips here. But again, more doing, less thinking. Great. Next thing, this is for the lower back. And we want to start trying to touch with our forehead the ground, which might look a bit like I'm possessed by somebody <laughs> in a little bit but I'm lowering as you can see I can I don't know if you can see by the ground but I start like this and I I take one thumb off one knuckle and try to find my limit the limit is when the heels are starting to getting lifted off the ground okay that's where you wanna try and work on right on the limit before the heels are losing the touch with the ground nice okay get down to a palm i think that's my maximum again we can do reps and sets of this but that takes out the fun of the whole thing okay next thing we want to get some rotation into this one Okay, so I want to get the inside of my knee down on the ground. If I can't get it down to the ground and this is the best I can do, great, okay? Listen to your body, everybody's position and stiffness is at a different point. I'm rolling on the side of my foot here and opening up my hip. Everybody's speaking about gains and strength and aesthetics but they lack it. nobody that are aesthetically awesome can do this and believe me they feel more shit in their body than you do doing this right now it's a bit fun to think of we're gonna go for our last one i could continue for ages but from our squat we want to roll on our toes get the knees right inside under my butt and try to dip my knees with control onto the ground get the stretch on the big foot there and roll back Boop. i don't want to drop my knees like this i want to counterweight with my upper body backwards and be in control get down feel the stretch on my toes here these are all positions that are forgotten by so many of us and again we want to have a body that lasts so Let's use it so we don't lose it, right? And we can go down to the ankles also from here. Oh, I should do this a bit more. Oh, get back on the toes. Boom. Into the squat. Nice. Now, I should probably have told you this earlier, but if you're not used to being in this position, your legs will get so sore, so numb. So, listen to them, get up. Shake some blood down there because of the circulation when you're in the squat gets cut off to a certain extent. So get up, shake it off, get down, work on your squat, do the thing on your phone, I don't know, do whatever you feel like, but I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you maybe spotted some things that your body needed and you didn't know how to give it. So leave a like, leave a comment of what you thought of this if you want to see more of this kind of content. And subscribe man, subscribe to the lifestyle, <laughs> subscribe to Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy your day, thanks guys. See ya! <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.